So my brother has this toolbox that he likes to use. Um, he does special effects, so he has all tools and different bits and pieces for his job. This here is the uh, toolbox. It's a little penny case that he keeps all of his stuff in. And as you can see there, it's got all sorts of different compartments where he keeps different bits and pieces. All tools, a couple of like pencil case things. First thing, all Milwaukee, you can see, see there. But on top here, right there, sits this here box. So this red box sits in the middle there. As you can see, and then it all fits together. But the insert for this box is not great. As you can see, nothing really fits in it properly. So we'll print some other ones to go in the box so this is the idea for what we're printing here little boxes they'll just sit inside so I printed a few of them already and I've got the rest of them there on the printer ready ready to go and then we'll put them in the box and see how they work Yeah, so I took the measurements of the box, um, took them into Fusion 360 and um, just measured up the couple of sections, just se sectioned it into six pieces um, and then uh, printed it in three different prints so that it would fit on the bed. So um, they're the different pieces. I'll show you now, me model it in Fusion 360. So it's basically my last update was when this was starting. So as you can see there, 10 hours ago, and it's at 90%. So it's got about an hour and a bit left to go on these here boxes. As you can see, there's the rest of them. Those, that's the last print. Print three of three, ready to go, so about an hour. And we'll come back and see how they all fit into the box and we're done it's about an hour two hours later 11 hour print 11 hours it always surprises me how long these things take to print you wouldn't think uh, it's like you know six boxes it's like what is it 32 hours of printing the Six hours of printing all these boxes. Well, let's check them in now into the box and uh, see how they all fit. So, what we're going to do is get, see, we've got various bits and pieces from batteries, uh, step on bits, screws, and whatnot. So, we take this out, I'll just put it there for now, and we've got all different sizes of boxes. See, so one quarter. Two quarters or a half, and then three quarters. That's what I can put on my print bed. So we slide them all in now. You can see that they all fit together in various ways. So I'll leave that up to my uh, brother. He can pick how, how he wants them all set out. But as you can see, you can move them around. You've got a bit of uh, customizability with those. Go ahead, I'll just take these ones off the print bed. Just give me a nice flex of it, and I'll just pop off. Love the stuff. And then those just do it. Fill in the rest of the space that we've got here. I do want to get myself a magnetic bed for this printer. Last one. Oh. Eventually stuck. There we are. And here it is. So there we are. That's the before. That's the after. And then let's chuck all the bits and pieces in. So 
so there we go i put the uh stuff that he used to have in his old toolbox now this uh plastic one that's all empty and go away now and then as you can see there's a couple of empty slots here still a few bits lots of space now that he can use for different other pieces so i'll give this to him and then i'll uh let him decide how he's gonna move these around pick them up put them all in different places obviously you can have it how he wants i reckon this has come off great um the only one side i will say is i could have made these they like a millimeter off square so they have to go in one way they kind of do fit in if you do them that way but if i made them all square and made these ones square I could have moved them through 90 like that and you would have been able to use them in any orientation um, which is the one gripe I got with this project but you can you live in your lane and you can take that on to the next project that I do now so it's I think it's a mill each way that they're not square would have taken the sides in a bit more so you'd have a bit more wiggle room on these boxes but I think it would have been a bit more beneficial for him to be able to turn through 90 and keep them the same um but all in all that's come off great so as you can see i'm pretty happy with how it all came out uh the prints come out really well for one of my first big prints on the new Corali ender 3 that i've got which um i'm really happy with uh i didn't have any filled prints any warping anything like that it all came out great um with the one gripe i had with the uh sizing if i made it square they um, could have all turned 90 degrees and fit in a bit better, but um, what can I do about that? Um, we'll try that with the next print that we do. Um, if you're interested, I'm doing more projects like this, so uh, check out the channel, see if uh, there's anything that tickles your fancy, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Peace. So um, yeah, it's come off nice. So if you're interested in more stuff like this, uh, check out the channel. And uh, we've got other projects like this we can do. And the rain is uh, coming in now, so it's time to time to go. Peace.